This is a for else method of looping through a list, where despite having an iteration through a list, you also have an else condition, which is quite unusual. This is not something that you can see usually in other programming languages like Java, Ruby, Rust or JavaScript. First of all, create a numbers list composed of different numbers, odds and evens. Iterate over the numbers list and if the number modulus 2 is equal to 1, that means that it's an odd number. In this case, print that odd number and then break out of the if statement. The surprise here is that the else will not be in the same scope as the if statement, but rather in the same scope of the for loop, by saying else and then printing no odd numbers. So in case we find an odd number, that number will be printed since break will be executed and the else branch will be skipped. Otherwise, if break is never executed, the execution flow will continue with the else branch. Now go ahead and run that program you will have odd number of 9 only. As the condition was true when we found the first odd number of 9, the if statement was broken. However, if you will delete all the odd numbers and run the program one more time, you will get no odd numbers printed, as indeed there was no odd numbers in the numbers list.